Welcome friends to another Creative Cutter Room video. Um, what I'm going to show you today is how I pieced together my little Rain Girl card. And I guess I should say Rain Woman. But this is a uh, piece that I made with my Silhouette Cameo. And I would love to share this file, but actually as I was putting it together, you can see that there's lots of teeny tiny pieces and it's really super difficult to put together. So I thought instead of making it a free file that everyone could get, I would just share with you the cuts. You can get a similar cut to this girl on the new um, paper doll teen scene. You can get it off of um, the Forever Young cartridge. So there are a lot of Cricut cartridges that would have it probably easier version of a silhouette woman and adding an umbrella would be super super easy. Um, this card that I'm making today I used the Echo Park 6x6 paper pads which I do offer in my store and I really do love this is the uh, graceful paper pad set and I'm also going to show um, besides that paper my bow maker of course this is our bow maker challenge and um, I've got just a piece of this green kind of minty ribbon that coordinates with the paper so first let me, before I show you the bow let me just show you I'm just doing a simple um, eight and a half by eleven cut in half piece of cardstock that I've scored in half um, and then I've cut a four this card measures four and a quarter by five and a half so this card just this of uh, pattern paper which is double sided I have just cut so that it would cover the front of that um, then I've cut a coordinating piece also from that six by six paper stack and again that's double sided so these could have worked you know really beautifully in all kinds of ways but these are the colors that I'm using to and then I was left with a little scrap piece from this um, in the brown and as you can see I've taken just a really really eighth of an thin eighth of an inch score tape and run it across there and I'm going to assemble that like so and then I'm going to take my um, die cut piece and she's going to lay across there um, the last thing that I did with the paper pad is I did fussy cut. This little flower was right there on the on this piece of pattern paper. And so I did fussy cut that flower out. And so let me show you the bow and then we'll start assembling the card. So here is my bow maker. Um, it comes with two pegs and it will come in its own self-storing pouch. Um, these pegs hold there so that when you move this around they don't roll everywhere on your desk. Um, you can insert them anywhere you want based on the width of the bow that you want. I'm going to make a really small bow, so I'm going to place those pegs the closest together. And then you're going to just take your ribbon and you can uh, choose anywhere from 12 to 15, 16 inches, depending on how big your project is, um, ribbon so that you can work with it here. You're going to start with the ribbon in front of your block and in front of your pegs. You're going to hold one end with your right hand. Let me move that. You're going to hold one end with your right hand, and from the front, you're going to wrap that around the back, and then take your loose end and tuck it underneath through the pegs and up over the top. So once you've done that, you can already start to see the bow forming, and I've got the bottom ribbon on my right hand, the top ribbon on my left hand. I'm going to switch. The switching makes it easier to do this next part, which is you're just going to take the top tail and tuck it up in the hole and come up over the top. And when you do that, I then wiggle just to tighten that piece up a bit and center my knot. So there you can already see that you have a nice bow. I'm going to take that off the pegs. What I like about the bow maker is it makes a bow, and you can see how hard I'm pulling on that, that doesn't pull apart um, while you're pulling it and fitting it to your card. You could take this bow and size your legs and make it a really nice pretty bow that has the tails hanging there but what I'm gonna do is on this little piece of extra paper I put a piece of score tape and this is really thin eighth of an inch score tape I'm gonna peel that adhesive off and then I'm gonna center well not center it. I'm gonna put this bow kind of off to the left here and attach that to that piece so that's where my bow is going to sit on there. Now I could tuck that in and glue it. In this case, I'm just going to leave myself a little bit of an end to glue to the back. And then I'm going to use just some more of this really thin score tape. And I just like how you can rip this rather than have to get your scissors out. A couple of small pieces of score tape there to hold the back ends of that. 
hand. Let me do this other side. And now I'll get my ATG gun and we'll start assembling the card. So that's my little bow piece that I have for my card. And I can fluff those little kind of, I'm kind of making those look like petals. So I'm going to fluff that up here in just a second. So now I'm going to take my card using my ATG gun and just add some adhesive. And this is a really fun card I think that would be great for a friend and this card that I'm making is going to a friend who's been kind of feeling down lately and thought this might cheer her up. She's had some eye surgery recently and had a hard time kind of going to work or doing anything because you know our vision is so important to us and if you can't see you can't do a lot of things and so she's been she's been a little bit homebound and, and having a rough time so I'm hoping this car tears her up so I'm just gonna center this pattern piece here and then this strip right here I'm just gonna add more score tape on the back when it's little like this I really like using the score tape because it just kind of get you just enough glue and score tape holds so well especially for us card makers and let me get my die cut piece here just so I can s decide where I want that bow to lie so I think about there will work for me okay and then this very last piece is just a little um, fussy cut flower I'm going to ink the edges just so that none of the other colors show through on the edges and then I think I'm going to just use a little piece of foam tape and I've got a piece here to raise that flower up just a bit I might have made that too big so I love this self-cut foam tape because you can really just customize the size you need if you cut too much you just trim it down make it a little smaller all right now I'm going to remove that adhesive Sorry, my hands are probably in the way here, but I'll show you in just a sec. So I wanted that, that bow to kind of be the petals so my flower, so I'm just going to kind of tuck that in right there. And then I'm going to glue my little die cut piece on that end. Now when I mentioned that this die cut was a little bit difficult, um, I want to show you these little teeny pieces. I don't know if you can see them right there. They are very, very, very tiny. <laughs> and without getting my tweezers out, it would be hard to put on this umbrella. I'm going to do that after I finish with this video because I don't think you want to watch me struggle putting those little tiny pieces on. Um, but those will be the embellishment around the umbrella here. And you'll see the finished card on my website along with a lot of wonderful inspiration from my design team. Finish putting on those little pieces and if you'll swing by my website you'll see a lot of wonderful inspiration that my design team came up with for this latest challenge. We have a bow maker available as a prize so I hope that you'll want to check that out. It costs only eight dollars on my website plus some shipping and handling and um, you, as you can see we'll make your bow tying so simple and easy and fast and you can create lots and lots of bows in a short amount of time with the handy bow maker and I will finish up my card and post that on the website so thanks for watching today and be sure and visit www.creativecutterroom.com bye bye now